This video is brought to you by Area EG. Hello everyone, Gil Solano here, and welcome to season two of our Narrow Diagnostics discussions, where today we will be going over a high-level overview of anti-epileptic drugs, also known as AEDs. We'll be going over each drug more specifically in upcoming videos, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow this profile so you don't miss out on those. By the end of World War II, anti-epileptic drug discovery was largely conducted by pharmaceutical companies, which was a bit out of the norm because in years prior, universities and clinical schools were the main contributors to drug studies. Anti-epileptic drugs. Anti-epileptic drugs are simply medicines that reduce the frequency of epileptic seizures. AEDs should not be considered as a cure for epilepsy, but instead as a treatment to suppress seizures while the drug is in the body. Now, AEDs can be categorized into two different groups, narrow spectrum and broad spectrum. Narrow spectrum AEDs mostly work for specific seizure types, such as partial, focal, absence, or myoclonic seizures. Broad spectrum AEDs have some effectiveness for a wide variety of seizures. Now, let's take a look at 15 common AEDs and what category they belong to. Feel free to pause the video here and copy this list on a flashcard. Again, we will be going over each drug more specifically in upcoming videos. There are various mechanisms of action in which AEDs suppress seizures. Mechanism of action. An AED's mechanism of action, also called the MOA, is how the body and the drug interact with each other in order to suppress seizures. Feel free to pause the video here as well so you can write down these common MOAs for AEDs. While you take in this list, I want to reiterate that an MOA is essentially what the AED does to the body to reduce seizures. And try not to be overwhelmed by this list because these MOAs will be included in individual breakdowns of each AED in upcoming videos. We've categorized these MOAs into blockers, inhibitors, enhancers, and other or unknown. And there you have it folks, don't forget to leave a like and share with a student or colleague. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow my LinkedIn or Facebook profile so you don't miss out on the videos where we will break down each individual AED in further detail. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.